Welcome, my name's Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Thank you for joining me. We're in Revelation chapter 16 and this is where we're up to. The seven vials. The seven bowls. Remember the church is up here. They're not in this tribulation here. Okay, and now the people that are left in the tribulation that didn't want to believe in Jesus back here are going to cop the seven vials. So here we go. Revelation 16 and verse 1. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. Could you imagine that? First bowl, loathsome sores. So the first went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and a foul and loathsome sore came upon men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. So these are the people that didn't want to um, listen to the final message given by the 144,000. The second bowl. Sea turns to blood. Then the second angel poured his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man, and every living creature in the sea died. So there goes food sources from the sea. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood also. And I heard the angel of the water saying, You are righteous, O Lord, the one who is and who was and who is to come. Now that's, the, that's a combination of Jesus and God the Father, because they both contributed to that name, remember, back in the early chapters. Because you have judged these things, for they have shed the blood of the saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, for it is their due, it is their just due. Wow. <clears throat> eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth here. Just goes to show you how relevant the grace age is, doesn't it? And I heard another from the elder saying, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. Now, the even so, even so you're causing harm, right? Because people don't want to see that God's got a harmful side. But he has, and we're watching it. Even so you have a harmful side, Lord God Almighty, True and righteous are your judgments. <clears throat> now you have to come to peace with that. And it's not easy, it's quite difficult. But God has a harmful side, which means God is capable of evil himself. Even though it's true and righteous in his judgment. It's very hard to comprehend that, isn't it? But let's just keep moving forward. I will do a, a, a talk on... Is God evil? And you can make your own conclusions from that yourself. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the power was given to him to scorch men with fire. Obviously the sun gets, um, the climate gets very, very hot here, and men were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues, and they did not repent and give him glory. It sounds very much like the Egyptian situation. Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the, when I say the, the Egyptian plagues, throne of the beast. Now the beast is copping it. And his kingdom became full of darkness and they gnawed at their tongues because of the pain. This is the Antichrist and his crowd. They blaspheme the God of heaven because their pains, are, because of the pains of their sores and did not repent of their deeds. <clears throat> then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and its waters was dried up so that the way of the kings from the east might be, be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of demons performing signs which go out to the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. And what battle might that be? Yes, Armageddon. That's the great battle of Armageddon. 
And so, let's uh, let's go. Where is that one? Yeah, the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I am coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And they gathered them together to the place in Hebrew called Armageddon. And on that note, we'll close. See you in the next talk. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.